Greetings. Yo, the black light here. If you want to keep it 100. You know, they, people say there are many levels to the truth. Or there are many truths. I believe that uh, it's one truth. But many different aspects or levels. And, you know, because they say, well, if a man was in an accident and there were several eyewitnesses and they were positioned in different angles to view the accident, well, each one would have their own version. Oh, that's true. But the truth is it was an accident. The truth is that when Elijah departed, uh, there were several brothers who went against the teachings. As a result of that, you have a stagnant progress of the nation of Islam. See, it's, you can't be righteous in an unrighteous system because the hand that feeds you is unrighteous. Using unrighteous techniques to keep you unrighteous because you got to survive in this system and if a couple of videos back you seen Kunta Kinte trying to survive as a fresh off the boat slave don't even know how to speak English getting influenced by plantation niggas that been on in America for a minute they know how to speak English and they know how to treat their master. They're trying to break Kunta Kinte in. So I call it culture shock because, you know, this is not our culture. We had a righteous culture. We wasn't using drugs. Now, we might be technically uh, disabled as far as this modern technology, uh, but uh, we live righteous. We work with what we had. That's what Elijah did. He worked with what he had. Trying to restore righteousness to the brothers. Teaching them how to dress, teaching the women how to dress, uh, how to act, how to behave. You know, and uh, now you know. Uh, soon as he, de soon as he leaves, or uh, pass away, uh, when the teachers gone away, the classroom will play, and that's what's happening now. Now. A brother changed, tried to change the flag of the nation of Islam. And he got he got followers. So there are those who uh going away from the teachers, but they got they got plenty of people following. 
So I say, well, this must be a sifting out, you know. See, what you fail to realize is that the economic system, the money, is that you got to buy or rent all this technology and food, clothing, and shelter. And it's an unrighteous system. You don't know what kind of food you're getting. People spitting in the food. Uh, pork being served. Uh, you know. Uh, you say, well, we own a house. You don't own a house because you got to pay property taxes. Don't pay your property taxes and see what happens. They say, well, we own our car. You don't own a car. Don't get your license or your tags or your insurance and see what happens. You know, you don't own nothing. You're just using. You know, you're renting down here on, on the planet. But you're not renting and using from the most high. You're renting and using from the devil who promotes unrighteousness. That's right. Sex, murder, drugs, uh, everything is being promoted, homosexuality, that is saying not to do in the Bible, you're doing it. Usury, wholesale, I mean, uh, yeah, well, wholesale uh, prostitution. You know, keeping it 100.